In this video, we'll discuss about site storage limit in SharePoint Online. In on-premise, we have quota templates. So how we can work with that quota templates in SharePoint Online. And also we'll see what is the maximum storage limit for the SharePoint Online. For that, I'm going back to SharePoint Admin Center. In this Admin Center, if we go to the site settings, inside site settings, we can see an option name called site storage limits. When you click this site storage limits, you can only see two options. One is automatic. If you use an automatic, let site use as much of your organization storage as they need. And the second option is manual. You can able to set a specific limit for each site. So if you go with this one and you won't get any option when you are creating a site, but if you go with this manual, so you'll get an option. So for that, I'm going back to this active sites. In the active site, I'm trying to create a new site. When we click this create, we, we can able to see two options. One is team site, another one is a communication site. And if you want to go with the more options, you can browse more sites templates, like you can able to see document center, enterprise wiki, and more different type of templates are available that you can able to create from here. I'm clicking this communication site. If you go to the advanced settings, now here we have a limit of 25 terabytes which is like uh, 25,600 and gigabytes option is which is showing here so if I close this one I am changing this site storage limit to automatic and then click save and then come back here and refresh this page and here I have this available space of you know 1.04 terabyte when you click this one now I'm trying to create this communication site if I go to advanced now I cannot able to see the uh, limit of it and I cannot able to enter any any option directly it will take the complete uh, storage limit and whenever uh, you are uploading into the site and it will not uh, show any any limitations for it I'm closing it back and now uh, for example if, if if I am trying to use this manual also and sometimes end user don't know about it and um, even who's creating the site and they don't know about the size which is occupying or which is going to occupy in the future so when i click this one and when i go to advanced now i have a storage limit so if i if you want to give a default limit to the sites uh, sometimes end user uh, they won't focus on this one and they simply enter the site name and site owner and they click finish and the site will create so for example if you want to give a specific uh, size for size limit for it so you can go back to the site creation option so in the site creation option you can see the default storage limit for the new sites for example if i limit this to the 25 gigabytes when i click save now it is saving so once it is done if you come back and then uh, then try to create a new site if you click this create and if you select any of this site if you go to the advanced now here you can able to see the 25 gigabytes so which is the default one which is coming of course you can able to increase here and um, uh, of course you can able to decrease here also you just want to you know limit for two gigabytes you can able to do that so the maximum limit here if i enter like this now i can able to see this red uh, uh, focus border so which means this is the maximum limit so again uh, we are coming back and if you go back to this site creation option we limited for 25 gigabytes i'm making this one like this 25600 gigabytes now there is no error if i change this one to 25601 gigabytes now i got a error message the maximum storage limit for the new sites is 25600 gigabytes so this is a maximum limit of the sharepoint sites uh, sites storage limit so that, that is the maximum you can keep this number only and if you want to decrease you can able to decrease but if you want to increase more than this you cannot able to do that so when we do that and we will get that error message saying that the maximum storage limit for new sites is 25,600 gigabytes. So this, this is only the options we have in SharePoint Online. So one is a site storage limit. So we have two options here, which is automatic and manual. And if you go to the site creation here, you can able to you know define the default storage limit for the new sites but we cannot able to create any templates in the SharePoint Online. Even though if you go to the classic uh, settings page, 
if you click this classic setting page inside that also we have only two options like this one is like you know the setting up manual limit when they are creating or making that automatic so which means it will not ask but it will occupy as much as possible and uh, that is the maximum limit we have seen just before which is 25,600 gigabytes now here you can able to see site collection storage management so this option also gives two options one is automatic another one is manual so this way we can able to manage the quota templates in SharePoint online so we don't have any specific method as like SharePoint on-premise we only have a few options for the quota templates are uh, you know storage management in SharePoint online.